How to fix a vast high CPU usage. Solution 1. Repair and update a vast. Right click the start menu button and click apps and features. Scroll through the applications list and select a vast. Then click uninstall and click uninstall again. Then click repair. Click yes to confirm the action. Click done once the process is complete. After the repair, make sure you have the most recent version of Avast. Open Avast. Click Menu, and select Settings. Select Update from the General tab. Under the Virus Definitions section, click Check for Updates. Lastly, under the Application Updates section, click Check for Updates. Solution 2. Remove Avast's Cleanup Tool. Open Avast. Click Menu, and select Settings. Select Troubleshooting. Then, click Add, Slash, Modify Components. Uncheck the checkbox next to Clean Up, and click Change. Click Yes to confirm the action. Click Restart Computer once the process is complete. Solution 3. Remove unnecessary Avast features. Open Avast. Click Menu, and select Settings. Select Troubleshooting. Then, click Add, Slash, Modify Components. Uncheck the checkboxes next to the features listed on the screen. Then, click Change. Click Yes to confirm the action. Click Restart Computer once the process is complete. Solution 4. Disable Avast Mail Shield. Open Avast. Click Menu, and select Settings. Select Protection from the left pane. Then, select Core Shields. 
Scroll down and select Mail Shield. Uncheck the box next to Mail Shield. Click Stop indefinitely when prompted. Click OK Stop to confirm the action. Solution 5. Erase the page file on shutdown with the registry editor. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open the Run dialog box. In the dialog box, type in Reg Edit and click OK. Once in Windows, Registry Editor, navigate to H key underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash control backslash session manager backslash memory management. Then, on the right pane, right-click Clear Page File at Shutdown, and click Modify. Change the value data from 0 to 1, and click OK. Close the Registry Editor and restart your PC. Thank you for watching.